but I haven't been on YouTube so much. And this is why I have been in a creative rut. We all get it and we've all been there in different seasons of our life. And this one was just mine. Like, I was posting on my Instagram, punching on my Instagram, posting on, you know, stories and all that, but not so much on YouTube. And I feel like throughout, um, you know, seasons that you go through, you go in and out of, you know, your creativity and what you want to do, um, or you just lose focus on your main goals. And we do, we get this in different seasons of our life, different subjects, different areas. And mine was for YouTube. So I'm here sitting outside of my favorite coffee shop, James Coffee. Um, I got my really big coffee and I wanted to talk to you about being a creative rut and what I did, the steps that I took to get out of it. So the first step I would say is to remember the main goal. What was the main goal that you started this project, your job, whatever it may be, what was the main focus? If you remember the main focus, you'll remember why you're doing these specific videos, content, whatever it may be, and you will remember that it was for what you're specifically doing, and you'll be able to better cater to any ideas that are coming, any fresh ideas that are coming. If you know the purpose and who you're trying to reach, everything will fall after that. of your routine, your daily routine, what you normally do. Get outside, go, go if you're in an office, go to a new like space to work, um, go to a new place to eat, a new coffee shop, go to different parts of your town that you've never go to. This will really start to help you think outside the box, think of new things to do, um, and it'll get the juices, the creative juices flowing. <laughs> Okay, so the next tip I have for you is just do it. We literally overthink ourselves so much, me included. Like I literally overthink every single video I put up, every single post, every single edit, every single caption. I just think about everything. And overthinking really is a silent killer. If you overthink, you will not post, you will not be satisfied, you will not um, like the content you're putting out and don't overthink it. Just do it, just put it out and you'll start to see the comments roll in, people appreciating what you're doing, saying that you've helped them. This is all key. Another airplane! This is all key to your content. If you put it out, you'll see that this is something that will help somebody out there the audience that you have and it'll really begin to um, you'll really begin to see that these things that you're putting out really does help people and that will begin to give you the motivation and the drive to keep going pressing on so my next and final thought would be don't be afraid step out of your box a lot of influence a lot of influencers and content creators um, that I've talked to and myself included sometimes. We sometimes get afraid because our audience likes this specific thing and we don't like to branch out to new things. Don't be afraid and don't be hostage to your audience. You're still your own person. You're still, you know, who you are. And we, I feel like we all are constantly growing and constantly, you know, branching out and doing new things. And if we're not true to that, then who are we really trying to do this for. If we're not true to ourselves, who are we really doing it for? Our audience likes us because we're real and we're raw and we are who we are. So stay true to that. Don't be hostage to 
you know, your audience or what they like or, you know, the content that they like. Just keep being you and they will begin to keep liking you. And if they don't follow you, it's okay. There's plenty of people who still need what only you have, so keep going. Okay, so that's all I have. There's many more things that could add to this list, but these are a few things that I tried in my own creative rut, and I'm still in this rut, I'm still on the process, but these tips have really helped me to get out of my comfort zone and just keep creating. I learned from Gary Vee, if you guys haven't seen this video, I'm gonna link it down below. But this is his main thing and it's stuck with me forever. It is document versus create, which means document over everything. Document your life no matter what the quality and what the quantity is, like just do it. Do it! Just do it! Keep going. You don't need the camera, you don't need the equipment. Just document every single thing versus create, which is the pre-packaged everything, camera, lights, all that. You don't need that. Just document everything and you'll begin to build steps onto your, your platform and that will begin to launch you into a whole new realm where you can create. So right now, document. And that's what um, I learned from Gary Vee. If, again, I will link it down below. If you haven't seen it, it is such a brilliant, thought so I'm gonna link that down below that is it I'm still on my creative journey but I'm still gonna upload content for you guys so keep me motivated in the comments down below let me know what you want to see um, I am literally um, I like to do everything so there's not gonna be one specific thing I am very like all over the place love every single like different thing from fashion lifestyle motherhood everything like I am I'm just gonna keep uploading, so just let me know what you wanna see down below. Again, thank you so much, guys, for being on this journey with me. I'm gonna finish my favorite coffee, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget, again, comment below, ring my bell for notifications, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys!